Doctor! Hey! There he is himself. Doing, Charlie, good to see you. Should I hold this? Oh, you should hold that, you know. Right. Charlie, you, uh, when I was here last time, my daughter came and watched and heard you sing like never seen before and play the <laughs> fiddle like something else, and you sat down with her, had dinner, uh, and, and loved on her. She's now in, uh, in, in Australia as a mission, a missionary. Wow. It's just a thank you for your inspiration. She's watching well, this right. now. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the thing about this, an event like this tonight is, uh, is, is it's, it's significant for whatever reason God really worked yes. this out for 9-11. Why? Yeah. Well, I think it's for a lot of people that are watching. Yeah. But why 9-11? Why you? Why are you wanting to be here on this particular event? Well, first of all, this is my home church. Yeah. And uh, the event has been scheduled for a good while, and I went ahead and committed to it a long time ago. Yeah. I wanted to be here for a multitude of reasons. I wanted to be here for one thing because it is my home church. For yes. another thing, I want to see Nashville hear the word. I want to. I am very happy and pleased. And I'm sure everybody is that you folks are here tonight, where we can spread it, spread it out a little bit. Yeah. And I want to praise the Lord. Yeah. Well, you do, and you've inspired me so many times, both at World Outreach Church and here on this stage. Well, let me ask. Uh, you know, you are you know so world renowned. Whenever I mention your name, Charlie Daniel's going to be this amazing. Uh, but from all the music that you have sung and all the places you have been, you know, what is it, you know, Charlie, that, that maybe some of them don't know, the depth of the heart of when I first interviewed you about your story, about your love relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus Christ. Tell them about that in terms of what that means to you. Well, you know, I went for a long time when I was a kid. I, I think uh, probably the biggest enemy of the gospel is its simplicity. Yeah. That it's, you know, you can't earn it. You can't, there's no way you could ever possibly deserve it. Yeah. You just have to accept it. Yeah. And it's hard to forgive yourself enough to accept it. But it's not our forgiving ourselves, it's God forgiving us through the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And it takes a little while. It took me a long time. I'm kind of hard headed. Yeah. It took me a long time. Yeah, your to, wife told me this. Yeah, this oh, is well, not a story that's unknown. <laughs> she's been talking about uh, school, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it, it took me a long time to yeah. get that through my mind, the real yeah. message of the gospel that, yeah. uh, you know, there's nothing I can do to earn it. It's not mm -hmm. my perfection. Mm -hmm. It's not my mm -hmm. goodness or anything mm -hmm. that I can ever do to ever deserve it, that I just yeah. have to yeah. accept the fact that yeah. 2,000 years ago, yeah. my Lord hung on a cross, started a new covenant, a new blood covenant that his blood yes. covers my sins and everybody's sins and that's, and that's the end of it that's yeah. it period right there, there. You go. that's the hard part it's yeah. just saying that's it that's it and as you go on in the journey of your life i sense that gets richer and richer over well, the yeah, you know I, I i enjoy it i love life i would not trade places with anybody i'll be 80 in october 80 80, 80. Zero. did yeah. you hear that okay first 80, 80 years first young, 80 years go. were good <laughs> ready for the second yeah ready for the second 80 years now but i i have i've had a wonderful life god has blessed me with things that i did not even have the imagination to dream up all those years ago. I've done things and been places and seen things and experienced things that yeah. I never thought I ever would. He That's has been awesome. so, That's so incredible. good to me. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, thank you so much My pleasure. for being here. I'm so excited. Yeah. Now, the one thing I think I do want you to, mm -hmm. to, to give a little taste of okay. is there's so many different songs that you could choose right. um, to be able to sing tonight. What's mm -hmm. the one song that is, means the most to you that you're going to sing? I've heard a couple of them here just uh, in, in rehearsal. He's alive. He's alive. Because he is. And I am forgiven. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Hey. Well, thank you. It's so great. Is there one thing that you might say to the folks that are out there that on 9-11, in a day that is uh, that fateful day that had so many of those they gave their life uh, on behalf of others, what, what is it that you might say to them as we begin this? Well, 9-11 changed our lives. Mm -hmm. It changed it for uh, everybody's life in this country from now on. I think if it did anything, it made us understand how much we need God. Yes. That things are so out of our control. Yes. There's no way we can control yes. it, but that He can. Yes. So the best thing we can do is go ask Him to do yes. that. Amen. That's the hardest. That's, that is the, that is the yeah. simple best thing we can possibly do. That's awesome. Well, we uh, we honor those of you that have been the first responders, no matter where you are, Absolutely. not just on 9-11, but 24-7. We're Absolutely. grateful for you guys. Well, Charlie, thanks for being here. My I can't pleasure, wait. my brother. I get, uh, get you on, get your fiddle, and get on up there. We look forward to hearing Thank you in a few you. moments. Thank you. Blessings, my Bye -bye. friend.